Hey guys, Dustin the Pro Picker here. Packed video today. I'm gonna to share with you a recent thrift store trip as well as a not so recent thrift store find from about a month ago that's amazing. And then we're gonna go back to the estate sale from Friday's video. So let's get it. I do buy this Coleco learning machine since mine is boxed. So hopefully I end up doing pretty well with it. Not any boxed ones that I could see comp wise. I pick up the Sammy Pure here, $2.99 I believe, so not too bad. That bat, unfortunately, I think is a pretty decent one, but it was broken. I do buy this Head Instinct Light Tennis Racket here for $3.99. Should be about a $40 racket. Hoping to get around $25 for this Justice League Batman toothbrush sealed. The Gillette Sensor XL here can be pretty good. I think they go for about... $25 for the uh, five piece or whatever. This Phillips air fryer for $4.99. That's actually a really good air fryer if you do see it out there, guys. However, that one does have a problem. I end up putting it back. I put these boots back. I forget what the brand were, but it does not have a good sell through there. And then I do grab this snoring Santa here by Jimmy. Should be about $30 to $40 shipped. And I think I'm paying what, $2.99, $3.99 for it? I do check out this Dr. Teal's here because it could be pretty good. $3.99 on it here, guys, but this is like the best comp for it and the sell through is kind of low. So I do put it back where I found it. And then as mentioned, there was a crack there in the basket for the air fryer. So I do end up putting that back. Still a great deal at five bucks for somebody that might want to use it. Got the Tupperware here. I'm going to pass on it. I do pick up this Bose Soundlink though, really cool pickup, as well as this JVC Stereo here. The JVC Stereo I believe is like 15 bucks and I think I'm paying around $5 for the Bose Soundlink. Just amazing. I may need to buy the remote for that LG though, but it looks like it's pretty affordable. I just thought the painting here was kind of neat. It's Hobby Lobby, so it's nothing that, you know, I would purchase for resale, but found it interesting. This find right here, super busy at this store, so I can't really show you uh, too much, but yeah, $14.99, and that's one of the craziest finds that I have found at that store. And then I have this Sony Blu-ray 3D player here, nothing insane, but $4.99 for it. Hello. Morning, how are you? Oh, pretty good. Yourself? Good, how are you? We are 20% off everything today. Oh, okay. Is tomorrow the half off day? Tomorrow's then? a half off day. Okay, yes, sir. thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. For you. Oh, thanks. Yep, thank you. So Jess was already inside. She got here just a little bit before me. And yeah, the Bose Wave Radio finally sold. I had put an offer in, and I guess somebody else had probably just said that they would do the half offer or whatever. So Jess ma managed to actually secure the remainder of the Easton Press books, as well as the Classic Composers CD set. I didn't want to, you know, hurt myself. Exactly. Hurt myself. Yeah, it looks like it's... You want it? What's in the... Uh, is everything in the box there? Yeah, it looks like it's got the additional parts. I mean, do you think it's a good go? I don't remember seeing anything. I the eyepieces, both of the eyepieces. In the kitchen, they had this KitchenAid stand mixer here. It's one of the artisan ones. 
And this particular one, I believe, is like 325 watts. So that's a little bit more powerful one for the Artisan line. I think the other one's like 275 or something like that. I know they make so many different variants of these. However, this one would be around $200. They had it priced at $150, so we would pay $75. But when I say 200, that's like with free shipping, as you can see there on my phone. I don't really think that I would make enough to really make it worth my while. So I decided to pass on it. I really wasn't feeling like carrying around a stand mixer either, but I was on the fence. 127.50, guys. That's pretty good. Yeah, 140. All right, guys, Jess went in ahead of me a little bit. I got here a little bit behind her for half off day. So here's what we ended up with though. We ended up with this reflector telescope. It's the 200 power Sears one, and we paid 37.50 for it, which you saw us grab that in there. This is the complete classic composer CD set. And we ended up with this for $25. Flips for about a hundred. It might be a little more because it has the shelves and then we ended up with the remainder of the Easton Press. And I'm gonna say that probably the average sale value is gonna be between 20 and 25 on these. And we paid five a piece on them. So pretty good little rally there at the end. Some extra stuff. So I didn't mean to go to the 20% off sale, but I did end up going. I figured it was actually the 50% off sale, but it was a four day sale. So they did 20% off for two days in a row. I'm kind of glad I did though, because this book right here, Ulysses, has sold for like $120 plus shipping. So that's actually really solid. And who knows if it still would have been there the uh, next day. And then, you know, I picked up a few other ones. The half off books and stuff, I'm throwing some comps up on the screen for you guys there, just so you can kind of see that. When it came down to uh, this set here, I didn't really want to pay 50, so. 25 definitely a price point I was comfortable with. I've sold this set before. As far as the telescope goes, no exact comps. Ours is actually a little better than the one that did sell, so that's pretty cool. And I wanted to get into the Eero Pro 6E here, which I guess we'll just uh, walk this way. And yeah, right here, $14.99 on this. Uh, I still have to test this. I've had it for quite some time. I've been waiting to share it with you guys. I had it on the, the footage on the Ron SD card. So I didn't even realize like, hey, I'd taken this camera out that day. And yeah, now I found the footage. So now we can finally test it out and process it. If it doesn't work or anything, I'll let you guys know in some kind of I'm really sad video. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be the case. We actually use an Eero, not as fancy of a one as this this one and it's okay uh, this is the step up which might actually be good for us but we're gonna sell it because I don't feel like trying to set it up and then replace the other one and do all of that but what a crazy find worth over $300 pre-owned $14.99 for it so really cool I would have showed you more of picking it and stuff like that but it was super busy people were all over those new stock carts and i just figured it would just be easier to recap it here with you guys as far as the sony blu-ray player i always grab the 3d ones when i see them cheap might buy a remote to pair with it. might have a remote to pair with it honestly a real sony one got this head tennis racket the instinct light here the, these can be pretty good pickups sometimes 3.99 i'm happy this jacket real tree here I'm guessing maybe $25 to $35, somewhere in that range. Got the toothbrush here. I had seen comps when I was out in the field and well, looking at the PC, just couldn't find any comps on it. Ended up with the Gillette Sensor XL here for $1.99. This is a uh, pretty good old stock here. And then uh, the Sammy Pier, hopefully we do all right on it. Soundlink Mini though, that's a great find. Of course, as long as it works, I haven't tested it yet and it definitely needs some cleaning. If it works though, a uh, super great flip. And the Snoring Santa here for $3.99. Again, if it works, we're good. If not, the for part sales aren't really high enough to justify even selling it. I'm gonna just say everything works today. <laughs> Yeah. with my insight who knows but yeah overall i think some uh, pretty cool finds in today's video i'm gonna include in the end cards where we actually went to that estate sale on the first day and bought literally thousands of dollars of books if you haven't seen it yet i definitely suggest checking it out i might throw it in the comments as well just so you guys can uh have no excuse not to click it and watch it so thank you so much i really appreciate the support guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video